I'm Justin from Keen.io. And I'm Tim, also from Keen.io. Keen.io is a data analytics platform for developers, and we're really happy to be involved with MLH Local Hack Day. Justin here is going to tell you a little bit more about our platform and how you might be able to use it during the event. And on Saturday, we will be there all day on a chat line or some sort to support you and help you through anything you need. So I'll let him take it from here. Thanks, Thanks. Tim. Good luck. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go to keen.io and click on sign up for a free account. I've created one. It's right here. I'm going to go ahead and log into it. Once you've logged in, you're going to see uh, that we've created a project for you. It's just going to be my first project. You can click into that and edit it to rename it. I've renamed it Local Hack Day. And you'll see that there's a couple important things here uh, when you've logged in in the overview. One is project ID. The others are your API keys. Got a write key, read key, and master key. Then over here under project members, you can add uh, other hackers that you're working with on the project if you need to by just adding their email right here. The docs are a great tool for you to use to get started. And if you have questions as you're working with the API, there's uh, a lot of resources here. That said, if you uh, need some help like Tim said, we'll both be available on Saturday to help you, so you can just send us info, uh, a note with questions. If you click in uh, down here to all the SDKs, you can see the different uh, languages that you could use that we support. We're going to go ahead and use JavaScript. It's the pop most popular one, and it's going to be a great first example. So I'll go over to JavaScript. When you click on it, it takes you to GitHub. And GitHub is going to give you lots of information. The information that we're going to look at is how to get started by adding the Keen SDK, initializing Keen so that you can, uh, with, your, with your credentials, sending events to Keen, analyzing your data, and visualizing your data. You can read through what all of that means on the page, but uh, just to keep this quick, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to a project that I've created on my local computer and show you how to do it. So you see here that I've got uh, just a standard HTML document with some things commented out. And these things that are commented out are what's going to initialize your project so that you can get started in sending to send events and, uh, events and analyze data. The first thing you're going to need to do is grab the minimized version of our JavaScript SDK and add it to the head of your project. I've done that here. I'm going to go ahead and save it and go over to the project page to see if it's loading correctly. Here we got our Hello World page. I'm going to refresh it. Go into the console. Keen. Look at that. It is loading. Now I'm going to go back to my project. The next thing we're going to do is initialize uh, Keen with our project ID, write key, and read key. The write key is going to allow you to send us data. The read key is going to allow you to analyze and visualize the data. So I'm going to uncomment that. You'll see that I've already put them in here. Go ahead and save that. So the first thing we'll do is send some data. The, to send data, you have to create a variable that's going to be the payload or blob, JSON blob, that you're going to send to Keen every time that you initialize the add event variable. So let's go here. I'm just going to do page loads for uh, kind of like an easy demonstration. The page load variable name, variable name is going to create the collection that we're going to be uh, sending data to. Then we have key value pairs saying page view is true. It's a boolean. You could add uh, strings or all sorts of different types of information there. Um, and then the refer. So I'm going to grab something from the browser and send it uh, along with the API call. Next thing is I'm going to just uh, add event and reference the variable that I created up here. So let's save that and go back to our page and refresh it a couple times. So I think I got it three or four times. Now let's go back to Keen and see if we have some data in here. And there it is. How many events we got there? Uh, three times. 
event properties. You'll see the, the properties that I created to refer in the page view. And then we've added a couple things here. There's the keen timestamp created at an ID. Each individual event has their own ID. The created at is a timestamp that we put on the event when the event is actually created. And the timestamp is uh, what hap like what we place it on when we send the, the data, when we actually get the data into Keen. Uh, these are important because sometimes you might want to just save a bunch of events that you've created over time and then send them all in one bulk. So now that we've got some data in here, we can go to the workbench and explore it a little bit. The workbench is a very uh, simple, straightforward tool that allows you to kind of do some ad hoc querying and get the visualizations from that. So I just want to know how many times people have viewed my app. That means I can select the event collection and I do a simple count of how many events are in there. Now I'm going to run the query and it's going to tell me that the page has been loaded three times. This also gives you some JavaScript that you can use to put the uh, analysis and draw the, uh, the graph into your app. So I'm going to go back to that and that's exactly what we're going to do. So you can see I've created, uh, I've initialized Keen, created a function that's going to do the analysis. Uh, within the function I have a variable that is defining what that analysis is going to be. I'm going to do a simple count on event collection page load. And then I'm going to tell JavaScript to draw this query, or this visualization, into a div that I'm going to create in the body of my project. See right here, there it is. So I've targeted this empty div with the ID of page count. Go ahead and save that. Go back here to my app, and I'm going to refresh it. So now you can see not only do we have the hello world, we also have a visualization here. It says that the page has been loaded four times. I can click that another time, and it's going to pop up and say four again. Click it again. Now what did I do? There we go, caught up. All right, so that's, uh, that's how you add analytics to your app. Uh, we'll be here all day, both Tim and Justin. Tim at Keen.io and Justin at Keen.io. Happy hacking. Happy hacking. <laughs>